Hi everyone! So today I thought I would go for a, a small square painting uh, with my funnel. I'm loving the effects I'm getting with it and so I'm going to try it again and with a very very little paint and see how that goes. I mix too much paint so I'm probably not going to use it all so I'm probably gonna set up here after with another uh, canvas and do another painting maybe a comparison painting I thought that uh, it was uh, quite interesting to uh, compare how two paintings with the same technique the same colors used in the same way could look quite different and or try to make it look similar Anyway, both ways uh, I think is uh, quite interesting and uh, maybe I'll do that again. So, uh, for today I have some white that I'm going to use as a base coat. I have uh, Dire Light Yellow and Permanent Violet uh, that I'm going to use in the funnel with a little bit of pearl. I'm using the pearl at the bottom because uh, I feel that when I pour the paint in the funnel and lift it, the color at the bottom kind of envelope the other colors and um, that creates uh, cells and nice effects. And since the pearl has a heavier density than the two other paints, then I think it could work quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, I mix my paints the usual way for that. Uh, the white, actually not quite the usual way. The white is heavy body paint, it's uh, Sennelier. Uh, the trick to get it uh, fluid because it's quite thick is to add just a little bit of medium to make it more creamy and once that's mixed and there's no lump you add the rest of your medium uh, so it's about 50-50 paint medium and 25% water. I add the water at the end, I feel like it mixes uh, much easier that way. And also, I know exactly how much paint I, uh, paint I have and how much water I can add because if you add too much water to your paint, you're going to have problems uh, with um, the paint binding properly to the canvas because uh, too much water will space out the acrylic binder uh, too much and they won't be able, able to uh, properly bind uh, together and to the canvas. So 30% paint is the limit. I usually add uh, 25, I rarely go uh, to 30%. And for the fluid acrylics, it's about 30% paint to 70% medium, 15% um, water, no water in the pearl because I want it kind of dense, uh, hopefully to create some cells and effects in the middle. And maybe I'm going to use the straw too, to um, have wispy edges. I'm loving the effects that I get like that. So I'm going to try this again. And that's about it. So I'll zoom you in and we will get started with that. Alright, so I'm going to pour my white. See if I need more, I'll add more, but I'll try not to put too much paint on my canvas for once. And now comes the funnel. And just a tiny bit of paint. Really don't want too much.
And uh, let's lift this. I will let it spread a little bit. I have my hair dryer right there. I'm going to use it to pop bubbles. Um, as I already mentioned, I use my hair dryer on very low, well, on the lowest setting, like low heat and low. Um, speed, I guess. So yeah, I'll mute the mic now. It works quite well. So I just keep doing that. And also since I do not use silicon, I don't need the torch or anything of the kind. And I'm a bit afraid with the torch, like the fumes and everything. I mean, you can use a torch. I have nothing against it, but um, I'd rather not expose myself to the fumes. And if I would, I use a mask and all that stuff to protect myself. So, um, like, if you do use a f torch and on your paintings, please protect yourself. Because paint fumes can be quite uh, nocive. Here comes the straw. Now I'll give you a, a time lapse in case it decides to change and maybe sell up a little bit in the middle. But I'm pretty happy with the look right now, so we'll see. All right. So this painting is quite lovely and I really want to try this again. Plus I have um, leftover paints, so I guess I should try it again. And with the same colors, same combination, do a comparison uh, in my next video. Uh, I'm curious if I can get more cells, less, or what it would look like. Uh, so yeah, I think it could be quite interesting to try, so I will. <laughs> uh, for this painting though, I love how the purple came out when I blew with the straw. It just, um, it was pretty much hidden under the yellow, but it truly popped out uh, when I blew with the straw. Uh, yellow is just wonderful. I love this yellow. It's so rich. Um, the hair light yellow definitely my favorite. It's kind of mustardy, but <laughs> when it dries, it's just rich and warm, and I love it. And I think it will really contrast nicely with the purple that will dry uh, much darker. Still purple. Uh, I did make a little bit of brown, it looks like, but uh, it's not too bad because it looks, uh, it's a purplish brown, uh, I, I don't know how to describe it, but I think it fits well in this painting and I can't wait to see where the 
pearl settled. It looks like there's a little bit here and a little bit lacing uh, in the middle here. It did a little bit of a swirl when I let the paint drip from the funnel, so I love that too. It looks uh, 3D almost, and there's really some depth to this painting. So yeah, I'm pretty happy, and I hope you guys like it too. Um, let me know in the comments if there's a color combination you would like to see, uh, a particular color contrast, or if you really enjoyed this one. Uh, I have to say, yellow and purple is my favorite color contrast, uh, closely followed by blue and orange, so when I do a color harmony painting, it's going to be usually the colors I go for. But, um, yeah, I like the result, pretty happy, and can't wait to see how this will dry. The purple will dry much darker, uh, that's because it's diluted with the medium and uh, the medium is white when wet but transparent when dry so it leaves only the color to pop and it will darken too so yeah happy painter and we're back and as i said i'm a happy painter it looks like it's moving but i'm not all right with that usually adds more movement more interesting stuff to look at um, I ordered some other brand of canvases and it looks like they're pretty much all warped, so <laughs> I'll have to work with that. But, um, and yeah, I'm not gonna order these uh, again. But, on a positive note, uh, it looks like it's moving on this corner, so it's going to look really cool, I think, if, uh, I hang this canvas in a 45 degree angle and yeah that's it so um, let me know in the comments what you think and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video it helps me out a lot and on that note thank you guys for watching I hope you have a great day make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video Bye!